My name's James Lonnan. Uh, I did my degree in biological sciences with honours in microbiology. I graduated in 2000 and now I'm a laboratory manager in the Department of Infection, Immunity and Information in the University of Leicester. After my degree, I got a technical sales job with a large multinational water treatment company called Nalco. And after two years, I decided to come back to the university here because I wanted to get into more of a research-based field again. So I came back and did a technicianship just for one year, which was doing all the testing in the lab and the biocidal assays for the, the ISO standards. And that's when I realised I wanted to stay in science. So I went and did a PhD. Then I moved back into this lab after my PhD as a laboratory manager. And I've been doing that for two years now. I think my microbiology degree was invaluable in this role because it gives you the solid grounding in microbiological techniques, understanding the bugs that you work with and the sort of niche that we're in and the way I can expand that and build the business and grow our lab's portfolio and, and sort of reputation. The advice I give to all undergraduates when they select the job they want to do is look at the sort of roles you seem to inspire you or you look like you enjoy, then look at the companies, find out which companies offer those sort of roles not just the big ones, but ones you may never have heard of, and apply for those as well. Because you won't always find the perfect career when you finish your degree. It takes time. And don't be scared of doing a job that's a bit different to what you originally planned, because you can learn a lot and gain some invaluable experience. Another thing I'd say is push yourself. Go for jobs that sometimes look like they may be higher than your current position, or have more responsibility, or look like you may have to work a bit harder, because you don't get anywhere without hard work and uh, often you can excel in these roles and, and you can get a lot further in your career. And another piece of advice I'd say is don't just think that what you see in the job adverts on the internet and in the papers are the only jobs out there because there's a lot more jobs that are hidden away and you can find out about by actually talking to people and just ringing up companies and just talking to them and seeing if there is something for you there. Well, the sort of qualities I'd be looking for in an undergraduate uh, student or a recent graduate would be, yeah, first of all, a, a, good, a good sound knowledge of science and a good foundation from their degree. Also good communication skills, the ability to work in a team, the ability to follow protocols strictly and adhere to that and not deviate, and the ability to communicate with myself and with other members of the team effectively. So someone who enjoys what they do, someone who's committed to the job, someone who can apply themselves and, and, and learn more all the time.